Hey, what's up guys? My name's Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video and today this will be the last of the informational videos on the equipable heavy sword. So as you've probably already seen across social media, especially Twitter and Twitch, then the new sword will be called Razor Light and it will be an exotic weapon. So what I'm going to do today guys is I'm actually going to be talking about all its stats and a few of its perks that I've managed to get screenshots of. There won't necessarily be any gameplay, so first of all let's take a look at the stats that come base with the gun. Now the first one is speed and this is how fast you can attack with the gun. So this is actually a really quick attack and it's about midway down the bar so that shows that it's a quick attacking weapon. Obviously you wouldn't expect that with a heavy weapon especially a massive sword but it shows that you can pack attacks in very quickly. Although this weapon does take out bullets quite quickly as well this doesn't look like it'll work well with how many bullets get taken up per hit so you can use this gun's ammo up or this sword's ammo up very quickly as you're attacking with it next is the impact and if you don't know what impact is in the destiny world impact is just what we know as damage and the higher the damage of course the better the impact so the impact on this is about three quarters of the way or just over half of the way showing obviously that it is a sword it's going to have a high impact rate so that's really cool it just shows that it will pack a punch like you would expect with a massive sword next is the efficiency this basically goes hand in hand with energy which is i'm just going to discuss alongside efficiency this basically goes hand in hand how much ammo you use per hit so this is actually really high and from the gameplay we've seen the ammo goes very quickly as you're attacking this and obviously with a high fire rate this is going to lose ammo very quickly as you're using it which is kind of a downgrade and a bit of a disadvantage for the weapon but it is a sword so what can we expect from an exotic heavy and from what I've seen so far the weapon itself can only actually hold 30 bullets or 30 ammo just in general so this can be up to about 15 hits or there is also the alternative in every heavy weapon as you know for a slam down on the ground so you're going to have two attacks with this gun you're going to have the standard slash across the side and then you're going to have the jump and slam down on the ground uh, both of them I think they vary in how much ammo they take up possibly the slam takes up four whereas the standard default attack with the raised light will only take away two ammo and then lastly in defense why would a weapon have defense now what this does is actually if you've watched the live stream then one of the streamers goes to put a weapon across their chest and then one of the cabal are attacking him and the sword is actually defending the character from the attacks and it's taken away a large portion of the attacks from the cabal sergeants so that's actually a really cool perk or just a standard base that in general the fact that a weapon has defense and it can actually block attacks now let's take a look at some of the perks you can actually upgrade with the weapon. Obviously on the side you have all the ascendant things where you can upgrade it to its most powerful as of year 2 I'm guessing because they've changed the little logo for the year 1 so I'm guessing that's for the year 2 emblem. I'm guessing that's the highest you can, that's the strongest you can make the weapon for year 2. And then first of all we have tempered light. Increased armor when welding the sword. Now what this does I think this one just increases the defense of the weapon and it also increases the defense of the character as you know you've also got the defense that on the right side of your character's dashboard so what this probably does is increase both of those stats then we have thrive by the sword kills with the sword grant super energy so as you know every character in destiny has a super and what that does is it usually gets boosted by the fact that someone else is using their super and it drops orbs of light or you just get it over time by taking damage and getting kills but what this does is actually when you attack and get a kill with this sword it grants super energy straight to your character and it doesn't drop orbs of light you just instantly pick it up and then you've got your super one step closer to being able to obliterate your enemies so that's the coolest perk i found about this but that's not the main perk of this weapon it goes on the next one and the most important one in my opinion is called phoenix uppercut use r2 to launch into a solar uppercut now of course for xbox users this is going to be called rt and now what this does instead of slamming on the ground I'm guessing what this does is actually hit upwards instead of hitting downwards and maybe hit them in the air or just give them a major knockback I'm not entirely sure I'm not sure if we did see gameplay of this it might have been a bit discreet in there and it, it possibly was used but all, all we know is it definitely must have been used if R2 was already selected for this weapons build in the live stream so that's got to be my favorite out of all the perks and then lastly the perk we saw was called warrior of light increased damage for your R2 attack so as I just discussed 
just then the uppercut or the standard base attack would have been just slamming on the ground. But now this perk also increases the damage for the attack, making it just twice as much powerful I'm guessing, or just giving it a tiny little increase boost, maybe making it have a short increase in its damage, maybe about 10 or 9 plus on its attack, I'm not actually sure how much of an increase it must have done, but it's on 310 now, so possibly a 301 to 310 boost, so that's a 9 damage boost, that's a pretty cool boost for a sword, and although it's as powerful as can be, a, a damage boost is just what you want to see, just so you can just have a massive impact on such a beastly weapon. So guys, that's all for today. As I said, this is the last informational video I will be doing for the Razor Lighter Equipable Heavy Sword Weapon. The next gameplay of this you will see on this channel will most likely be actual gameplay from the Year 2 Destiny Taken King update. So guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on your social media. My name's been Erupt and have a great day.